In this video, we're looking at three tools you can use to preview and test your Bubble app's responsive design. If you're not testing your responsive behavior, you could end up with a poor user experience on one or more devices. The first tool is within your app's own editor. In the design canvas, you have a responsive tab, and this is going to let you simulate how things will adapt according to different breakpoints. There's a lot of customization controls here so that you can really fine tune this for your own needs. But the benefit of looking at things from this perspective is that you can make quick changes as you go and immediately see how things will adjust at these different breakpoints. This next tool is something your browser will offer. We're in Chrome right now, and most modern browsers will offer this, but this is gonna give us the same set of tools we had in our editor, but now from the perspective of the front end, so we can see everything in context with all of our dynamic data, so we can get a much better picture of what our users are going to experience. If I open up my browser console, that's what we wanna go into here, I'm gonna click on inspect there, I can toggle open this uh, responsive viewer that Chrome has. And I get a lot of the same tools that we found in the editor so that I can switch to different devices and see how things will adapt. But now with all of my dynamic content filled in, so I get a much, much better idea of how things will appear for my own users. Now, the third tool is in general, browser extensions. There are a lot of amazing add-ons that you can install to your browser through extensions. The one that we're looking at right now is called responsive viewer, and this is specifically for Chrome. Um, this is great because I can see a bunch of different layouts side by side. I can even sync the scrolling and interactions across these pages. So I can do a lot at once, you know, depending on your needs, um, you know, there's a lot of additional tools with extensions that can really hyper customize uh, your testing process. Uh, we've also seen other responsive viewers that will simulate the device itself. So it'll actually have a, you know, the frame of a phone or a tablet. That's great if you want to do a presentation of your application. It can be helpful for that. At the end of the day, don't overthink this. You don't need the fanciest tools in order to preview all of your responsive designs. If you're not sure where to start or what to use, start with your editor because that's where you can also make changes as you go. And don't forget to use real devices as well. At some point, you're gonna to need to do that. So before you flip that final switch and go live, make sure you pull out an actual phone, an actual tablet. If you need help from colleagues, friends, coworkers, beta users to help you gather feedback from different devices and different operating systems, definitely do so because you may still run into some discrepancies between what you're seeing with these simulators compared to the real thing. 